what is up youtube it's fresh bringing a brand new video and today we're going to be making a tier list now this is going to be on marvel phase four now as we all know marvel phase four has just ended and well actually it ended a little bit ago but it's the end of the year so basically marvel phase four is done and now it's on the marvel phase five going into 2023 so i thought hey gotta get these end of the year videos out the way we're gonna do a, another video as well on the I'm going to be ranking the top 2022 movies. I think I'm going to do a top 10. And then we're going to do another one as well with um, all the Marvel movies ranked. That's going to be an, that's going to be a crazy video. It's, it's going to be a super long video. So you guys are in for that one. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And uh, let's see what I'm going to rank Marvel phase four. You know, this wasn't the best phase. You know what I mean? So let, let's get into it. Now, first things first, I wouldn't feel right without doing my shout outs. You know, I just got to shout them out. I would feel bad if I just didn't, you know, say anything because they're helping me make this video. I'm using this person's tier list side underscore lamp. They only got two followers. So let's get their followers up on Twitter. And yeah, let's get into the video. Let's go. OK, so first things first, we got one division right here. Should I do an order of the M you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going to do it this way. My way. Excuse my language. Sorry if we got kids watching, but we're going to do it my way and we're going to do one division. All right. So one division, I will have to put that at S tier. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Marvel. Now, is it one of the best things that Marvel has ever come out with? No, but it's the best thing from phase four. I, I think we can all agree that it's one of the best things from phase four. Phase four wasn't that great of a phase. And, you know, it did have some gems, though, that we will get into. But, yeah, I thought WandaVision had great writing. It showed the relationship she has with Vision so well. It showed the grieving of her character that I liked because it showed how the effects of the Thanos snap was still hurting people, you know, even past, you know, the Iron Man snap fixing everything. And it really showed the long term effects that Infinity War has on the MCU. And I like that, you know, the show introduced some new characters as well, brought back some characters that we all are familiar with and helped us see them in a different light, enjoy their characters more. You know, obviously, Agatha is getting her own show now because people love the character so much. The character in the comics was, you know, all right, you know, there. But, you know, it the character did have a importance in the comics for Wanda and Vision. Um, Monica Rambeau was in this show. Now, it was questionable how they used her in some parts. Hopefully, they don't do that in Miss Marvel or not Miss Marvel, the Marvels. But it's great that she got her powers and y'all really y'all if y'all love Shiri, y'all gonna love her when she get her movie. Watch. I don't know about y'all not to do a quick little intermission. I don't know about y'all, but it's raining outside. It's cold. I'm freezing. All right. You know, what I mean, it it, it, it probably sunny where y'all at watching it right now. Y'all probably it's probably it don't even look like winter outside for y'all right now. It, shoot, it's, it's bad outside right now. All right. So we got Moon Knight next. Now, Moon Knight. I'm going to be honest, I was disappointed with Moon Knight, and here's why. So one thing with the Disney Plus shows, I feel like the Disney Plus shows were great at presenting characters that have already existed in the MCU. So basically not giving an origin story because the Disney Plus format was literally, OK, six episodes and that's it. And it doesn't give enough time to fully like introduce the character and it honestly makes for a rush story and it, it just really rushes things, puts a, a bad taste on the story and it messes up the writing, in my opinion. So when it comes to these characters, you'll, you'll we'll get to them. But probably any character that got introduced with the six episode format on Disney Plus, I did not really like the story too much because it just messed it up. It was rushed. You know, every it's almost like every time too with the format. That episode two, episode one and two look like it's off to a great start. Episode three, bam, rust. Don't know what's going on. It, it just like, how do we get here? But I will say this. I did like the action for Moon Knight. I thought Moon Knight will be great in the MCU. I think Moon Knight definitely worked in ways 
that it should have. I think they lacked when they um, decided to basically use um, his alternate ego that they didn't introduce yet until the very end of the show. I forgot his name. Uh, Jake Lockley. They didn't introduce him and they kind of used him as like a plot device to just move the story forward. And he'll, you know, it just skipped action sequences. I just didn't like it how they didn't let us see him fight. Because he was doing the coolest stuff, and it would just, okay, he bl- blacks out, bam, it's over. He's just holding a knife to somebody. I'm like, bro, we want to see that. We want to see how he did that. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. They had to cut it out, I guess. But I got to put Moon Knight at a B. I'm going to be honest. I got to put it at a B. It's not the greatest thing. I honestly want to put it lower, you know, if we were to rank the Disney Plus shows, I'd have Moon Knight lower. All right, so we got Multiverse of Madness. Now, y'all gonna hate me for this, but this low-key one of the best uh, comic book movies from the past two years. And, you know, it's 2022. And I, I, I had to say it. I had to say it. I actually enjoyed Multiverse of Madness a lot. I love what they did with Doctor Strange. The character arc he was going through in that movie, a lot of people said that he didn't have an arc, but he did. He learned a lot about himself and he also dealt with the stuff with his past girlfriend and it was really good and it helped him become a better leader. And on the other side of things, you got Wong just being the best side character ever. They need a Wong is stepping up in the MCU. I'm not even going to lie. Wong in uh, No Way Home was hilarious. It's, it's like every appearance Wong has, he's just hilarious. Even in Shang-Chi, it was hilarious. But yeah, obviously Scarlet Witch, Wanda in Multiverse of Madness as well. I think, I think, yeah, it's, it, it's just something about Multiverse of Madness and WandaVision where it just had certain comic book moments and just showed us those moments. And it was just, it was just great to watch. Like I remember we seen White Vision and WandaVision. That was crazy. It wasn't the same type of scene when Wanda seen him the other time, but maybe it will be like that later because, you know, we, we all know what happened to Vision. So, hey, we might we might end up seeing that scene. But yeah, so I'm going to have to go Multiverse of Madness is S tier for Phase 4. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind we're talking about Phase 4 here. All right. We're talking about the best of phase four, the mid of phase four and the bad of phase four. So we aren't going to necessarily be getting into, you know, what, where they really rank in the MCU entirely. That's for another video. I told y'all, we, we, you know, we coming out with that. We coming out with that, but yeah, we, we can't get into that right now. So I got to go that for right now. That's my ranking right now. Multiverse of Madness S, WandaVision S. Moon Knight B. I honestly want to put Moon Knight lower, but I'm not. You know, maybe I could take out a tier. I think that would work better. We're going to take out the D tier. All right, so Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, another one of the origin stories from Disney Plus. Again, I just wish they had more time to really dive into these characters, maybe give us like an eight episode season. Certain things were just so rushed. I. At a certain point watching Miss Marvel, when it got to episode three and four, I it, it was just something it just didn't feel right watching it. I was like, this was rushed. How did we get here? When she ran into the guy at like the train station and he took her to the evil bunker lair or not evil bunker lair, but like the lair they had. I was just so it, it it's just certain. It just wasn't good. It, it forced the directors, forced the writers to have to rush the story. And I really wish they got more time, more episodes, because they deserve that. I do think that in the next seasons, though, for these characters, since we did get past that origin part, it will be better. You know, these shows will be a lot better. Moon Knight will probably be an S tier. You know, Miss Marvel even will probably be an S A tier, I think. So... Or for me, at least, you know, so, yeah, I think I think it definitely can get better. But it was just I just have to rate the start how it is. And it wasn't the greatest. So I'm going to go 
Miss Marvel at C tier for me. I, I, I'm sorry, it wasn't hitting for me. I know it. I know it definitely could have hit for a lot of people though. It wasn't a bad show entirely. It had great moments, and you know I, I could definitely see people enjoying the show. I I did laugh at this show at moments. It was it was a funny show, and it was entertaining as well in certain episodes. Thor Love and Thunder. You know what? We're going to put Miss Marvel B tier. <laughs> it's not as bad as this. <laughs> oh, snap. It's not as bad as that one. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put Miss Marvel B tier. We're going to put Thor Love and Thunder at C. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, it got to it gotta go to C. It got to. Yeah. I. That's just... This movie is when Marvel has... I can't even say Marvel. It's when Marvel lets a director have too much power over the movies, the character. They they had way too much trust in him with this movie. It was very bad. Um, way too much fun moments that were just ridiculous. Like I just seen recently, apparently Heimdall's son had the Mad Titans, which is his rock band poster. So basically a band named after the person who killed his dad hanging up in a poster on his wall. I don't know where the direction is for this story, but we're not getting into it. I can't mess with it. Um, Groot, I am Groot. Should we even rank this? I don't even know. Uh, you know, before we get into that. All right, so Thor Love and Thunder. It had great moments, don't get me wrong. It just fumbled the villain. It fumbled the Jane Foster story. How do you, how do you make a story like that how do you literally mess up Jane Foster's origin story as Thor? That's one of the cool. That's one of the craziest moments in Marvel. Literally, it's a very entertaining story and you mess it up. And then on top of that, you mess up the portrayal of Gore with Christian Bale as Gore. Like, um, and I don't even think Christian Bale had screen time. I think he barely had even that much screen time as it is. I. I don't know. It should have been a way darker film. I I don't want to like force Marvel to be dark all the time, but you can't just take those two stories and have the most lighthearted, fun time film of the MCU of all time. Like it just doesn't make any sense. It's just complete waste. But I mean, it, it is what it is. I thought it was a bad idea. I did like how um, Gore's daughter was actually Thor's real life daughter and obviously he adopted her in the movie and you know now they're going to be in the mcu together i like that i think that's a great addition that that's a nice cool little touch to the movies you know they they they, they did have some good stuff in the movie don't get me wrong but it, i gotta put it at c it's last for sure all right i am groot i don't even want to rank this because i don't want to say like oh i am groot's on the same level as miss marvel moon knight because like obviously those are better than i am groot like <laughs> We're not going to rank this. We're not going to rank this. This doesn't deserve. This doesn't. It, it, it just. I don't want to feel like I'm hating on it because it was never supposed to be taken serious in the first place. Like I'm Groot was just never supposed to be like that. So we're just not even going to do that. She Hulk. Now, I have videos on my channel and I actually liked She Hulk first two episodes and some of the episodes. Actually, I was actually looking forward to it. I love the Daredevil episode. But I cannot say that this show was great. I, ca I just can't say that I would put this show over Moon Knight. I can't say I would put this show over Miss Marvel either. I thought this show had moments. It had good moments for sure. I feel like you can take away good moments from a lot of things. But yeah, this show, it just wasn't doing it for me. Um, I thought it I thought it dropped the ball on the writing a little bit. Some of the episodes were fun. It it, it got really boring towards the end. Um, some stuff, it, I don't know. It was just weird. It, it was just weird for me. I, I cannot I can't say that I enjoyed it that much. If I did, I'd be lying. So, you know, what I mean, I got to put it where I got to put it. Uh, Werewolf by Night. Oh. I love the Werewolf by Night special. I thought it was great. Definitely got to put it S tier. One of the best things that came out 
from Marvel Phase 4 for sure. Enjoyed it heavily. And yeah, definitely, definitely got to put that S. Um, it was it was great to watch during uh, Halloween. You know, it was just something nice to put on. And definitely the better special. It was way better than the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. We'll get into that later. Okay, so Wakanda forever. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Wakanda forever was not my... I, I didn't I'm gonna be honest with Wakanda forever. I I liked that they decided to uplift Shuri. I liked that they went in to certain directions and they obviously brought in Namor. But I cannot say I like the direction that they went with with the character of T'Challa and especially in the end credit scene I think we're in the multiversal saga we're going into the multiversal saga you mean to tell me the only way to recast the Black Panther T'Challa is to give his son his same exact name T'Challa Jr. And then let him eventually grow up in the MCU and give us a T'Challa and let give him his story. I think that's completely ridiculous, considering everybody else seems to just be jumping out of a Doctor Strange portal. I mean, come on now. We just watched No Way Home. We just seen three people play Spider-Man. I don't think it's a bad thing to have somebody else come into the role and play that role. I think the role and what they did with the first movie was so important i disagree with them just completely getting rid of the character another reason i feel so strongly about this is because derek bozeman chadwick's brother came out and spoke about the role of t'challa and how his brother most likely would have wanted the role recasted and he was talking about chadwick obviously and this was based off of conversations they had and this was also confirmed by his daughter chadwick's niece that Chadwick did talk to him and most likely would have wanted the role recasted based on conversations they had. I'm not okay with this ignoring the fact that we're going into the multiversal saga. We're, we got Kang, we got incursions happening. We got a lot of stuff being introduced, X-Men, Fantastic Four. You know, T'Challa is big in this story. And this is obviously why they said, you know, T'Challa was going to be the main guy for the MCU is because this was his most of his best moments in the comics were around this time. Fantastic Four, X-Men, T'Challa Storm, the incursions, T'Challa puts on an infinity gauntlet. He fights Namor, um, his rivalry with Namor, you know, Dr. Doom's on the way T'Challa. You know, it's just so much stuff that T'Challa, it's like his story was meant for this time in the MCU multiversal saga loki literally has 15 different loki loki there was there was all types of loki's a viking loki there 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 was loki loki sylvie loki loki was an alligator like you mean to tell me there's no other t'challa in the that can show up in the mcu like come on man i'm sorry i'm sorry i just can't mess with that i can't mess with that i'm perfectly fine shuri can have her shine you know that happens in the comics but what also happens in the comics is T'Challa's right there. You know what I mean? So I would have loved to seen, have seen T'Challa potentially just be written off and then to come back later. They went this route. That's okay. They wanted to honor Chadwick this way. That's how they want to honor Chadwick. Okay. But I just disagree with some of the creative decisions. I feel like they could have honored him in many different ways outside of the movie but yeah this is the choice that they wanted to make so hey that's cool they can they made that decision but now they gotta come on and they killed off queen ramonda i don't know why i don't know why they even did that um i seen people after the movie wanting namor and shiri to be together i i don't know 
I don't know. He killed her mother. Um. Yeah, I. It's just, it's like Marvel has all the leeway to recast if they truly wanted to, and like Nate Moore said, they just couldn't do it. They just didn't want to, and I mean that's what they chose to do. So hey. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, definitely an A tier show. I wanted to put this show at S, but certain things, I'm not gonna lie, I get very, I, I do like to binge watch shows, and I got very, very frustrated with this show because I felt like we were being just dragged along. We weren't really being given that craziness that we wanted to see although we did get to see that moment some episodes were just too much of filler episodes in my opinion but i did love that we got to see uh falcon you know we got to see a lot of his character see him grow in the mcu i like that i love that but yeah just a lot of stuff surrounding it just wasn't it for me i also was really mad how did... all right so wakanda gave sam a suit Right. Wakanda gave Sam the suit. It took this man a full episode and the first five minutes of the next episode to finally open the briefcase. Are you? Oh, my God. I was so heated. I was like, just open it. Just let us see it. Just let us see it. what it looks like a little bit. They, I mean, it's whatever. We've seen it. But like, I just felt like that was such a forced like cliffhanger. I just. That just made me so mad, but I do love, I, I love a lot of the aspects in it. The action was great. Um, seeing, seeing the Dora Milaje show up as well, beat them up was pretty funny. Um, uh, yeah, I, I liked it. I might even put that in S later. I'm gonna be honest. It might go S later, but right now I'm gonna keep it at A. We'll see how everything looks. I'm gonna move stuff around, you know, right now. I think this works. I think this works. All right, Loki, that's an S tier show, the best show from Disney Plus Marvel so far. Um, yeah, just a really good show. Great action, great attention to detail. Um, they showed his arc the best, in my opinion. They did a really good job with, with Loki in this this ep this season. Um, season two should be great for sure. It, it had a lot of great moments and seeing he who remains at the end, you know, it, it, it was, it was just really good. It was just a really good show. All right. So black widow. Now, a lot of people don't like black widow. I'm going to be honest. I like black widow. I like, I like the movie. I like the movie. Not the most, not as much as the others, but it wasn't bad. So I'm going to have to put this one. I'm not going to put it on the same tier as Thor, Love and Thunder. I think Black Widow is way better than that movie. So I'm going to put it on B tier. Again, I'm going to probably move stuff around. But right now, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. All right. So the Marvel What If series. I'm going to have to go. I feel like I'm putting everything on B tier, but. The what if series I got to put on B tier as well. I got really bored of that. You know, I, I wish we got to see more of Star Lord T'Challa though. That was crazy. I, I like that. I like, I like seeing that. And I like that they showed that T'Challa is just such an important character, no matter what he's doing. Right. That, that, that's a really, I like that. I like that. You know, he, he don't got to be the Black Panther to be T'Challa, to be that guy. So I like, I like that they did that. Shang-Chi definitely one of the, better movies for sure i'm gonna have to put that one in e s tier i'm gonna have to put that one in s tier really like that one eternals i'm gonna have to put this one in b tier as well um i thought eternals was pretty boring i'm gonna be honest i, I got bored in a lot of moments i honestly could put that one in c tier you know i low-key might put eternals in c tier but i thought the movie was visually pleasing i thought they had great visuals great camera work i thought they had great cgi for the most part they had one of the better speed fights as well i i did like some of the uh fight scenes so i gotta go with 
that right there. I might even move it to A. I don't think it's an A tier though. I don't think it's an A tier. Now Hawkeye, Hawkeye was great to watch during Christmas. I love this show. And this is the only show with an origin story for Kate Bishop as the main character where it worked because Hawkeye was right there. If Hawkeye wasn't right there, I don't know if we would have enjoyed the origin story as much, to be honest. I thought the villains were okay. I thought, obviously, what they did with Kingpin was a little bad. I mean, it is what it is. They had Kingpin acting different way different kingpin was a lot different than the daredevil series in my opinion but we cannot hate on it too much because that was such a small part of the show in all honesty but yeah i like the plot twists like the action scenes i like the dynamic and i like how they showed hawkeye interacting with the city i don't know why but it's something about superhero shows where they have the main character just interact with the city. They show them love and stuff that I, I love that. I love when they do that. I love when they, when they just got the city showing mad love for the, the superhero. I don't know why. I don't know why that just hits different, but like, I mean, Spider-Man two, you know, shoot, I can, I can, you name it. I could keep naming movies like that and shows. It, it just, it just hits different. So yeah, I got to put Got to put that A tier for sure. Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay. All right, I'm going to do some editing, change stuff around, and then we're going to see what this list looks like because I forgot about Spider-Man No Way Home. And a lot of these movies at the top are not on that level, so we got to switch stuff around. All right, so I did switch it around. I got Spider-Man No Way Home S tier, Loki S tier, WandaVision S tier, Werewolf by Night S tier, Doctor Strange, Falcon Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, Shang-Chi, that's A. And then Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, Wakanda Forever, Black Widow, What If, and Eternals, B. And then Thor, Love and Thunder, She-Hulk, C. But we also got one more, one more set of people. We got a rank, and that's Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. And that is one of the worst things I've ever watched. That is so boring. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it is what it is. It was for Christmas. It was for fun. I'm not really too mad at it. I just fell asleep every time. Um, I watched it once the first time and it was all right. I mean, it was nothing really that made me go, wow. You know what I mean? It was, it was okay. It was a holiday special. Nice little Christmas thing. Nice little Christmas thing, you know. It's just the whole Kevin Bacon thing didn't really interest me. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't that funny to me. I did get the joke because obviously Peter Quill likes Kevin Bacon. But I mean, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, that's my tier list. Um, Let me know what you guys think in the comments about it. You know, obviously, y'all will probably disagree with me, right? I I mean, hey, it's your opinion, my opinion. I I honestly don't hate anything on this list i really don't have any problem with anything on this list i'm a marvel fan i enjoy most marvel things and i still go to see it so you know it's not like i'm completely like just trashing it wanting to hate on it i'm just giving my opinion where i thought stuff should rank and how i felt about the stuff and if you connect with it if you don't let me know in the comments don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And where would you guys rank this stuff? Obviously, or where would you guys change on my list? Would you change the whole thing? Some things, a small part. Let me know. And yeah, I'll be seeing y'all. I got more content on the way. And thanks for watching. I'll see y'all. Peace.